is going on guys? Welcome to Gumbus Videos. My name is indeed Kyle Cooper and today I'll be reviewing Howard the Duck. I haven't done a WTF series review in a long long time so what other way to get back into it with Howard the Duck? I, like okay now let me say this one thing about this movie and it's going to be kind of the underlining theme of this review. It borderline disturbed me. Now, I can't get mad because of that. It's throughout the film, it's duck puns and then duck porn. And I wish I was joking. I'm actually like disturbed. I'm probably mentally ill by watching this film. It's really something. Like, we see two different cases of duck tits. And they were all in the first 10 minutes of the film. We got to see a duck getting ready to screw a human being. That, that was fun. You got to see duck playboys. Or play duck, I think is what they called it in the film. And I got to see a duck constantly hit on different people on planet Earth. Just, just I, I can't get this out of my system. Just, just, wow. Capital W O W. Wow. It's, I, I don't know what to say. Like, first off, Howard's planet is the shape of an egg. How original! <laughs> Omega lol. Seriously. A, a, a duck planet where. The planet is the shape of a duck egg. <laughs> George Lucas, you crack me up. Oh my god, it's just... Ah! It's, it's filled with genius humor. Like, we got to see so many people say, It's a duck! Like, you literally see someone on the bus kind of like, That's a duck! That's a duck, man! I'm like, no fucking shit! And how is it? Like, literally, I don't know why, but like, 50% of the planet is like, wow, that's a duck, let's beat it up. And then the other 50% is like, wow, a duck, how ugly. I mean, like, no one's acting like there was a humanoid duck walking around, talking, drinking booze. If I saw a duck, first off, I would probably be like, wow, that's fucking weird as shit. But I am really fascinated. But I don't want to touch you for possible diseases you might carry. Like... These are the things a human being might think. Or they might just say, get the hell away from me, you sick bastard. You're probably from another planet, which he is. We don't get to see any genuine reactions. They're either over the top or too mellow or just like, eh. Eh. I never would have thought that they would try to depict people in such an asinine way. I mean, the human race is a bunch of dickheads. Don't get me wrong. We are dickheads. If you say otherwise, there's something wrong with you. But if you saw a humanoid horse or a humanoid dog, your first reaction is not going to be, hey, I want to pick it up and beat it up. That's not your first reaction. I mean, if you're like maybe 13 bottles in vodka, then maybe, maybe you'll consider it. But I mean, no one... With a human, like a human soul, a human mind would ever do that. It's just, just wow. And like, I forget the chick's name because this movie is honestly genuinely forgettable. But the chick that is like constantly following Howard the Duck around, her reaction is like, wow, a duck. There you go. Then like, what, 30 minutes later into the film, she's trying to sleep with the fucking thing? That's gross. That's gross. This movie should kind of tell you something about George Lucas as a filmmaker. I mean, we kind of had a little a hint with episode six where, with the Ewoks, like throwing pebbles at the stormtroopers and they were just falling and dying. Like, eh. I mean, he's got a thing with creatures dominating people. So I don't know what it is. This movie, I bet you George Lucas didn't even make this movie. It was like his deepest, darkest desires come to life. He's like, oh my god, duck tits. Eh, it's just... This, 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 this. Wow, just it's so fucked up and in a mental way. Like, 
How could you watch this and just be like, wow, I'm genuinely entertained. Genuinely entertained by what I just watched. And the, the moral of the story is kind of ass. It's just like the writing, the dialogue is just piss poor. Like when the chick like kind of showed off Howard to her like her band buddies. They're like, wow, you must be Howard. Nice to meet you. I would have been like, who the fuck is that? Why have you been talking to him? Let's get you to the CDC center and get you quarantined. Get you cleaned up and kill that thing. I mean, yes, I told you. Why would a normal human being say, I want to beat that up? Because I would have got a gun and probably shot it. There's two ways that this could have gone. I'd be like, wow, that's fucking weird, but I'm intrigued. Or I'm like, wow, I really want to shoot you right now because you're disgusting. I'm sorry, but... That's the way things are. If you saw an alien, you're not going to be like, wow, I want to sleep with it. <laughs> Your first reaction is going to be like either, wow, I am intrigued. Wow, get the fuck away from me. Or wow, I'm going to shoot you. It's not going to be like, I want to pick you up, get mouth to mouth with you, and then beat you up and throw your ass in a dumpster. Like, it's fucking middle school. Like, <laughs> it's just, George Lucas is like, he's the persona of the 80s and how cheesy the 80s was. Don't get me wrong. I love the 80s. You can ask any of my friends. I'm a huge 80s nerd. I love it. But he's he kind of embodies the part I don't want to kind of be a part of, if you know what I mean. Like, I love 80s cheese, but he kind of overdoses on the cheese. It's a little too much. And the villain making someone sweat and then just giving him a gargly voice and then making him go like this. Doesn't convince me that's an alien. I was like, wow, how, how is this actor, you know, still in the studio filming right now? I would have been like, I'm done. This is stupid. This is dumb. But he stayed in there 90% of the film. And then I'm not going to lie. When he finally does transform into stop motion, I thought it looked kind of cool. That's the best thing I could say. It's kind of cool. But the writing is so lazy. The acting is absurd. Apparently there was like six actors who played Howard the Duck. I, I don't know. I don't know why this movie existed. But it does. And it's George Lucas's wet dream. So, in a nutshell, this movie's fucking weird. Okay, I'm going to give this movie... 2 out of 5 stars. No more Mr. Yeah. Nice Duck. Live at Twitter, Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and like crap. Later, and goodbye.